Scotland, this beautiful country that you necessarily want to visit if you have heard at least about it. Whether it is for its culture, its folklore, its history, its magnificent landscape, everything is interesting in Scotland. But still, it is an agitated place with complicated politics that we hear a lot at the moment. So, let's talk about Scotland and its independence. Today, Scotland is one of the four constituted nations of the United Kingdom with England, Northern Ireland and Wales. However, it was during a long time an independent country. To talk a bit about history, in the early Middle Ages, Scotland was made up of different people like the Pikes, the Scots or the Britons. Then, all different kingdoms absorbed by the Scots realm and will form the Scotland we know today. After that, kings and queens will follow one another until James VI. He will be the first king of England and Scotland under the name James I of England. He wished to unite England and Scotland in a single kingdom, but the Parliament rejected this project and the two states remained separate despite being governed by the same king. So, Scotland remained an independent nation although strongly connected to England. But in the year of 1707, the Act of Union united England and Scotland into a single kingdom, Great Britain. Scotland in since this act no longer an independent nation. There was still an attempt to restore Scotland as a country. It was the case of the Jacobite army led by the Stuart, the last dynasty to rule Scotland before that the Hanover took the throne. However, the defeat of the Battle of Culloden ended in two dreams for the Jacobites. The Stuarts returned to the throne of England and the Scots dream of becoming an independent again. Scotland is after that drawn into the policy of England and waited until 1998 to see the emergence of a Scottish Parliament established by the Scotland Act. It is the first Scottish Parliament since 1707. Since 1998, Scotland has enjoyed great autonomy as its own government and parliament, which cannot, however, contravene the principles of British sovereignty. There is also a Scottish national movement, which finds its political expression in particular through the Scottish National Party. The ones who want the independence of the country think that Scotland without the United Kingdom should develop better. For example, the majority of the petrol of Britain is located in Scotland, so the separation would allow Scotland to not share its resources anymore. They also think that England, the richer nation of the United Kingdom, has too much power. However, other Scottish people do not want to leave the kingdom, which is one of the most powerful and rich states in the world. So, if Scotland becomes independent, it will not beneficiate any more of the United Kingdom's power. It will be a little country of 5 million inhabitants. On the 18th of 2014 September, a referendum was held in Scotland in accordance with the Edinburgh Accord seen by the British and the Scottish Prime Minister in office, David Cameron and Alex Salmond. The question asked to the Scots was, should Scotland be an independent country? At the end of the night of counting, the victory of the no is announced. It obtains 55% of the votes against 44 for the yes. Scotland, therefore, remains a constituted nation of United Kingdom. But concretely, which will be the consequences of an independent Scotland? What is sure is that the United Kingdom will be less powerful without the Scottish support. Other consequence for the kingdom is that the Scottish independence can tempt another nation of asking their own independence, which will mark the end of the United Kingdom. About Scotland? There is a question of the integration of the European Union which can be complicated because it has the unanimity of all the nations. About the currency, should they keep the pound or change for the euro if their demands are accepted? About the defence, Scotland will not beneficiate any more of the Britain army. And other questions like the administration, the citizenship, the monarchy and so on. Today, what changed? The independence of Scotland is again a hot topic. Indeed, in 2014, 55% of Scottish people voted for staying in the United Kingdom. 
except at this time staying in the United Kingdom meant staying in the European Union. But as we know, the referendum of the Brexit was in favour of leaving the European Union. However, Scottish have largely voted against the Brexit. Since, the Scottish was not really implicated on the process of the Brexit, according to the Scottish Prime Minister Nicola Sturgeon. The consequences of the Brexit for Scotland will make it difficult to attract foreign workers, in particular European ones. The access to the country will also be more difficult. The solution to avoid that for the Prime Minister and her party, the Scottish National Party, is to join the European Union. So, before that, Scotland have to be an independent nation and leave the United Kingdom.